Hi, in this video we will install the management console which is a tool that you can use in your web browser to manage your UMH installation on Flatcar from anywhere really. The way it works is as follows. We will essentially install an additional component called the management companion onto Flatcar that will communicate with the UMH and pass this data to us via the cloud so we can see it in our web um, browser. The final result will look a bit like this. We will have our instance visible here and we can inspect its attributes, um, data and so on um, in those tabs here on the right. All right, so for the installation, we'll follow this guide provided by the UMH on their website. Um, it begins by stating the requirements for software and hardware, but given that we already have installed a Flatcar VM on Proxmox in a previous video, we can just deploy the management console. So to recap, I have here a couple of VMs I'm currently running in Proxmox. And what we will do today, we will configure the management console for the VM 101 um, UMH here. Okay, so let's get started. The first step is to open the management console in the browser. I already have it opened here. If you haven't signed up yet, you can sign up and put in your data. I have already done that, so I can just log in. So in my management console, I see I have a bunch of instances. Uh, one of them is currently running. But for the sake of this video, I will create a new instance for this um, UMH VM. There is really not, not that much to it. The first thing you have to do is you have to click on add a new instance. At the time of this video, the only thing you can do is the option install UMH only. We're going to give it a cum, uh, call name. Let's call it umh um, underscore management um, console, right? This will create a command. And the next step that we have to do is we have to execute this command on the virtual machine. Now there's one small catch in a sense that you can't really copy paste into the console in Proxmox. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to just open a terminal on my host computer and I'm going to SSH into the running VM. Um, for this, we need to know the IP address of the VM. So I click here on UMH and it's a bit small, but maybe you can see that the IP address on my home network is 192.168.178.169. And we know that, that the UMH has the core user by default. So I'm going to do SSH core at, and I think I already have the IP address here. Yeah, so it's 192.168.178.169. Click enter. It prompts for a password. The password was UMH and I'm in. Now we can go ahead and copy this command to our clipboard, uh, paste it here. And when I press enter, it will download all the necessary software and install the management companion. This should take no longer than a few minutes. So we reply yes to the prompt. And once that's been done successfully, we will be able to see um, the instance here. So here we see that it tried to connect and the connection has been successful. The installation is complete. So we can go ahead and close this um, terminal now. And let's click on let's go. Here we see that they have the UMH management companion online. Um, I don't have any connections yet. It was just a bare UMH installation. But what we can see in the workspace is that we have um, the main components of our UMH stack, which is the collection of all the connections that you have. Again, we have no connections configured. But we could clearly see that we have our unified namespace that saves data into the historian. Right, that's really all there is to it. Thanks for watching this video.